Hello everyone, welcome to another video of Maida's video series. So in this video, we will be talking about the soil structure interaction importance. So as we know, if we opt for modeling, we are having two options. That is either we can make a superstructure and then we can consider its forces and model the substructure separately. Or the another option is that we model the superstructure and the substructure along together and hence we get the cumulative results. So in this model, as we can see, I'm having a PSC bridge where I've also accounted for the substructure that is my piles and the piles cap. So this helps us to get the accurate results. We'll be seeing that as well, like how the proper interaction between the superstructure and substructure lead us to accurate results. And the, another important thing that we'll be focusing on is the soil structure interaction. So as we know that these piles will be beneath the ground level and hence will be surrounded by the soil. So it is important that we provide the soil properties as well to this piles according to which the deformation and the force transfer will be taking place. So for that purpose, Midas offers this feature which we are having under the boundary tab, this integral bridge. So this feature helps us to simulate the soil properties in the very easiest way. We just need to select the soil spring type that is whether our structure is abutment or pile spring. Once we do that, then we need to select the soil type. So I select the sign, sand in this case, then we give the ground level which is 0 meter. Then we give the pile dia. So let me quickly check the pile dia. So I'm having the pile for the dia of 0.6 meter. I provide that. Then we give the unit weight of soil earth pressure coefficient and coefficient of subgrade reaction. So I'm giving it as 25,000 kN per meter cube. And then we just need to select the nodes on which this soil will be simulated. So for the ease of doing that, let's quickly activate our files. And on this nodes, I will be applying this properties. We can link it with our boundary group as well, since this will be, yeah, this will be activated in the construction stages. So we do that. Let's quickly check with the stage. Yeah, it is good to go ahead. So I quickly perform the analysis for this. Now let's check the deformation with this results. So I will go under the last stage and we'll see the CS summation in the X direction. I'll change the units to mm and these values will be updated. So you can see we are having a maximum deformation of around 14 mm. Now for comparing this with the model without substructure, I have modeled another model. So let me open that. Yeah. So here, as you can see, we are having the only the model till the peer location. We are not having the piles and the pile gap. And hence, when we check the CS summation for the DX deformation, you can see the maximum deformation is 4 mm. Hence, there is a difference of around 10 mm in both the models. This difference is because of the properties of the soil that we have simulated and the stiffness for the substructure that has been accounted for. Earlier there we, we were having a fixed condition at this location, but now since we are having the substructure accurately modeled, hence these results are more accurate. Hence you can see the importance of modeling the substructure together with the superstructure and also considering the soil stiffnesses for our structure interaction. Hope this was helpful for you. See you in the next video.